Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a fun video where I will be showing you all the products from the Chapter 1 release by Sizzix Co. UK. So I am one of their ambassadors and uh, since I am an ambassador of Sizzix, I do get the whole collection and I thought it would be fun to show you all the dyes that uh, came out and I'm sure you will find something that you love in this release. They came up with beautiful designs once again. So this is the Rustic Flower. This is a dye that I have already used to make a card a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And I'm planning to give this card to my mom for her birthday. And you will find a link to this video up here, as well as in the links below. I am also going to link it to the end of this video. Now let's move on to the next dye. This is the swan dye and uh, it's going to cut out the body as well as two different wings that you can pop up on your project. There is a graphic here that shows you how many pieces it cuts out. And I love that this is uh, one of the thick dyes so you can cut out this one from felt or different materials to give it more uh, dimension and texture. Here is another one of the big dyes. This cuts out this vine which is quite big and uh, it would make a great uh, focal point on your cards or other projects. I think that this would go great with pretty much any flower that you have and uh, I believe that it's one of those dyes that you use again and again on your projects. And this is the Spring Animal dye. This is absolutely adorable. It cuts out that uh, cheeky as well as the bunny. And I have already made a couple of cards, very simple ones, using fabric. I just love these for Easter cards or birthday cards that um, happen to be during Easter. I am going to share a video of those cards later this week. And here is another dye that I think it's going to sell out great. This is the unicorn dye that cuts out the unicorn as well as hearts and stars. I do have a sample card using this dye which I am going to share as a video later this week. So this is a card for a birthday card I did for a little girl who is turning 5 during Easter. And I think this is going to be a great hit since she loves unicorns. And now let's move on to thin lids. There are a bunch of those and some of them are absolutely adorable. So first let's start with letters and numbers. So this die set cuts out an alphabet and it's called dainty lowercase. So it gives you that little circle with the cutout letter inside, but of course you can use the positive or the negative cutout. Along with this design there are also numbers and uh, you can also cut out the word today with this set. These are all great for scrapbooking as well as for uh, planners and you can also get a set with the uppercase. And in the card I showed you earlier with the unicorn, that's what I used to cut out the um, number 5 to personalize my card for the little girl. So let's move on to the next die. This is a lovely sunflower. It gives you three dies to create beautiful sunflowers and I know I will be using uh, this in a, an upcoming project. Now I would suggest to cut out the petals twice so you can stack one on top of the other to create more dimension. I just love all kinds of flowers so this die is a great addition to my stash. Now this is a lovely stamp set that's perfect for home decor projects as well as for birthday cards. So you get the mother giraffe as well as the baby giraffe and the balloon. Now to put everything together you need to cut out the giraffe using the big die twice. And then on one of those layers you can place the other little detailed die on top. And this is going to create those holes for you so you can stack those two layers one on top of the other to get all that detail. Now this is uh, another thin lit die which is very versatile. I think you can use this again and again on your projects. And uh, it's called hexagons. And I'm going to open it up for you so you can see that there are actually two dies in here. The one that cuts out all the honeycombs and another one that is the outside border. So you can use them separately if you want or combine them together for different looks. And another great idea would be to use this die to cut out a honeycomb stencil for your projects. Now who doesn't love butterflies? I think this is an adorable die. I am going to bring in my 6x6 art journal because I think they would make a great focal point on one of my layouts. You actually get a bunch of butterflies scattered as well as two smaller butterflies that you can place anywhere you like. 
And I already love the look on my journal. Imagine if I add uh, color on that. And I want to show you how it looks on a standard sized card. So it would make a great focal point as it uh, pretty much covers the whole uh, front, card front. The next die set is called Garden Florals. And you can see it gives you a vase along with a tag, lots of stems, flowers, flower centers, and even a butterfly. This is a very versatile uh, die set that you can use again and again. You get a bunch of dies that you can mix and match, perfect for spring cards and pretty much for any occasion. Now here is a die that is really elegant, very delicate, and uh, it's called Pretty Peony. It gives you the flower as well as leaves. I love to use these dies when I go for that tone-on-tone -tone look. You even get a layer that you can cut out for the bottom of your flower to give more dimension. A great focal point for congratulations cards as well as anniversary and wedding cards. And here is a card perfect for Easter. You get this one huge die with the rabbit and all the flowers. You can see how big it is and so intricate. Actually, I would go and cut out these uh, many times from different pattern papers and then you can uh, cut out pieces and um, layer one on top of the other to get this look. Or you can of course cut it out of white paper and then use your markers or, or pencils to color in different details. And the size of it makes it perfect for creating home decor pieces for Easter. And here is another die set which is packed with dies. This is called Springtime and you get lovely images, perfect for Easter or for spring cards. And I just love the bicycle and it has a basket so you can put inside little flowers or you can even use these eggs to create an Easter card and put the eggs inside the basket. So many different ways to use it and it's packed with dies so you can mix and match and make so many different cards. Now this is a box die, it gives you this beautiful heart, it's not very big as you can see, so it's perfect for little uh, party favors or uh, for adding little chocolate and treats for your kids. And of course since this is shaped as a heart, it could make a great box for Valentine's Day or even for wedding favors. Now this is an adorable die that uh, creates this uh, unicorn softy. This is a big die and uh, you need to have the Big Shot Plus or the Big Shot Pro to cut it out. It is going to cut out all the pieces that you need to create this beautiful uh, unicorn softy, but of course you can customize it and turn it into a horse. I think this is adorable, especially for people who love playing with fabric and sewing and it will end up having an adorable and very unique softy. Now, Sizzix has a new die storage solution. It actually has a case where you can put inserts inside to store your dies. I don't have the case yet, they haven't sent it to me, but once I get it, I'm going to make a video for you so you can uh, take a closer look and see if it's something that you would like to organize your dies. So I'm going to show you the inserts now. In the packaging, they have uh, five inserts. Three of them have uh, this uh, design where they have two pockets with a Velcro where you can place your dies inside. So just place the dies inside the pocket and close the flap so everything is nicely secured there and very well organized. Now, I don't like to throw the original packaging. It gives me a good idea of how this die is going to cut. So this is the way I would store it. But keep in mind that if you do it this way, it's going to add more bulk into your pockets. But for me it works because I can uh, browse th through these inserts and easily spot the die that I'm looking for. And finally, this is the new Paper Sculpting Kit by Sizzix. It uh, gives you two different pads, one for adding details on leaves and flowers, as well as another one for adding dimension. And uh, in the kit you also get uh, reverse tweezers, scissors, as well as three different styluses. I did use this kit and demonstrated how you can work with it when I made this card. So check the video description as well as my blog where you will find links to everything that I showed you today. I hope this video was helpful so you had a close-up look on all the dies and maybe you spotted a couple of dies that you absolutely love and you want to add to your collection. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.